Hello everybody, F40 here, and welcome back to another episode on the Automation Car series, and today, I'm having a little bit of an idea. I, I recently just made a Ferrari kind of Testarossa-ish uh, vehicle build. Um, I didn't record it, uh, but I think it. I think that's what we're gonna be doing today, so uh, let's get right into it. Now, now before we start this video, I would like to say if you liked my previous videos on this game, maybe consider subscribing, dropping a comment below on what videos I should do next, and if you're feeling real good, like and hit that notification bell too. Alright, let's get started. Alright, now, this is the body I will use. Um, this is the body I previously used, but you will see I will have to mold this into the shape I want. Now we are heading on to the engine section. I'm going to pick probably a V8 because the V12s are very, very broken. Usually they, in the previous version of automation, they would sound normal but in this version in bmng they do not sound normal one bit they sound really really messed up and that's why i'm not picking them I'm just gonna start off with the v8 all right now we're on to the compression that was quick um make sure everything is stable now what i like to do is I, I like to start off with this. This is how you get good um, good acceleration. You you gotta make this as stable as possible since this is used as two RPM loads, two individual RPMs that if are stable that can result in better acceleration apparently so that's what I'm gonna do right now we're on to the aspiration section which I'm going to skip and now we're on to the fuel I'm probably just gonna do this something simple not too much I'm trying to find something that's gonna work out for me um Yeah, probably, probably this. That's probably better. Um, just starting off with the simple, simple tasks right now. This is going up to here because automation. Sometimes this, this, well, this version of automation at least, the RPM is also a little bit buggy. I would, I would uh, recommend this version if you want to experiment and report bugs to the developers and also make sure to join automation discord if you have any more questions or if you want to meet me because i'm in that discord too right oh wow that's quite a bit of horsepower and as you can see back to this part this is what stabilizes the RPM. Alright, see? This is a quick, sleek jump. Usually it's not like that. Usually it makes an, a little bit of an arc. So when there's a little more RPM, like, dude. So for example, imagine this, but it goes down a little bit. And that lowers the horsepower. But the base horsepower is 333. Let's listen to the engine. All right, that's pretty good sounding. Now, when I meant Testarossa, I meant like, like that. That's very Testarossa-y, isn't it? 
I mean, besides from the whole body itself, since the whole, the, the Testarossa in real life does not look like that, the front of this just looks like the Testarossa. Right now I'm gonna add the grill. I'm probably just gonna make it the classic square grill as usual for Testarossas, because that's, that's obviously the most common. I mean, that's on on the actual car, so yeah. Let's add the Tessarossa headlight. It's more like like that. A little bit off. Off. Ooh, goodness. That looks a little better, but we can improve. There we go. See what I mean? Looks a little like. Testarossa. Now we all know the vents on Testarossa are very infinite, infamous. They are definitely known. The Testarossa is definitely known for this kind of vent. So I'm just gonna put that right smack dab. I'm not gonna care about that that overlapping. Right there. That looks nice. Now instead of a headlight, a pop-up headlight, like um, this. This doesn't look as good. I mean, it looks alright. Actually, never mind. I've changed my mind. This looks much better than my previous one. I guess we're using these these pop-up headlights. Oh, that's pretty strange. Now I want to pick the rims myself, because I'm not sure how, yeah, I'm pretty sure, I, I like these. These remind me of a BMW M1, kind of. Not really, but kind of, so I guess I'm just going to pick those. Here come the tail lights. Now, I'm just going to do like classic Ferrari 288 GTO tail lights, because honestly, I have no clue how to make Testarossa tail lights, so I guess I'm just I'm just gonna do that. That looks pretty Ferrari-ish, doesn't it? Looks pretty pretty Ferrari, stereotypical Ferrari. I mean, have you seen your Ferrari um, F12s? That they have that. I'm just trying to adjust that a little bit. Um. I think we can add the exhaust now. Just add that right on there, smack dab right there. I'm gonna check if it is dual exhaust. It indeed was dual exhaust. It sure was. Um, I don't know what to do next. I was just joking. I of course know what to do next. Just have to add the license plate just classic right there i might i may adjust the little outer parts of this um but what i want to do is i want to kind of insulate the back from being bland because when you have these tail lights there's no funk to the back end of the car what the that what? How did this even happen? That... What? Alright, it fixed it. That was... That was real weird. What in the world? Oh, goodness. It happened again. You see that? Did a little flash. Anyway. <laughs> I'm getting distracted of... Because of bugs. Goodness. Just add on the de de Add on to the details. Hello, details. There we go. And then the final touch. This thingy. I have no clue what it is, but I'm adding it. To be honest, because I like I like the look of it. And instead of this, it's gonna be a grill. Um, all fixtures. Scroll down a little bit and a smack dab right there. There we go. That looks pretty nice. Add some finishing touches and we're done. 
Done with the rear. Nice. Here come the painful process of the windshield wipers. Oh lord. Here comes the painful process of the windshield wiper. Oh. We're not there. Oh! I'm gonna tear out my hair! I don't care if it looks funky and weird. This is just gonna be how it's gonna be. Now I'm gonna make the windows opaque because I cannot make interiors in automation. Also, in this time period, there is no rear windshield wipers, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is a little trick I found. Hold on. Let's try and get this to work. I think this would look nice. 3D. And push it down. Yeah, it looks nice. And it adds on to the the coolness of this here back part. I swear, when it's raining <laughs> and you have a car like this outside, what, what are you gonna do when you're driving off when it's raining? You're just gonna have a whole entire pool in the back of your car? It's like, oh, hey, wanna go swimming in, in, in my car? Well, it's not in my car, it's behind it. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll swim in your car. Oh, goodness. Alright, that part's done. So, uh, I guess we're just going on to the, the, um, door handles now. Where are these guys? My brain is so small. You've got to be kidding me. Where are they? I found them. Uh, well, anyway gonna go ahead and make this good I don't like how I want I want there to be like it not stretched out I want to stretch it like this part out but not like the lock I don't like it be more convincing that this thing actually would look nice I had to I decided to add these uh little thingies on the side I think they look pretty nice um what are we doing now? We're just adding on the final touches? Final last touches? I guess we are. Because that's what I just did. Well. That's it for the, um, the build, I guess. Just gotta check for some things that may not be- Oh! Silly me, there needs to be a front license plate. No, not that one. This one. Why did I go sideways for a second? That was weird. Switch it up a little bit. Zoop. All right. We're done in this part. Now we're on to the actual car's function. Um, six gears this time, because honestly, I want to go over 190 miles an hour. So actually. Since the game is kind of mean to me, we're gonna have to go over 200, so yeah. Um, go to 39 miles an hour for first gear. That'd be pretty nice. And the tires, which are so annoying because they start off as this. They're both 225s. There's no way automation is gonna accept that. There's no way they're gonna accept that. Well, I guess that's the end of that. On to the brakes. I would ceramic it, because honestly, you want to brake pretty nicely. Um, smoother brakes on the front, so you don't go flying out the window. Um, and more brake force in the back, so... Forces are nice to me. And of course, comfortable brakes. <laughs> Not sporty. Again, you don't want yourself to be absolutely snapped in half by the seat belt locking mechanism. I, ugh, that'd be a terrible way to go out. Hey, I nailed it! I nailed it! I absolutely nailed it for a real wheel drive car. Nailing it first time, as in nailing it, as in um, making sure it doesn't oversteer. Man, I am struggling with words today. 
Oh my god. That's why do I always have to fix this problem? Okay, I guess I'm real lucky, bud. Alright, I guess that's the end of that. And that's that. Do a little spin around. A little spin around. I'm really glad this is not the ugly car series because I really struggle to keep my brain cells in my head. But luckily, my brain cells are staying. Let's go drive it. And here it is. Here is the beauty. That's a strange sounding engine. I didn't think the idol would sound like that, but let's take a drive in it, I guess. Forward a little bit. Alright. Oh, my camera. Alright. Alright, let's go. That's nice. It's, it's quick. Wow. Definitely one of my fastest cars. Fastest accelerating cars. You can tell by the way I talk, I'm a terrible person in the brain. I should not. Have just... You know what? I'm just not gonna worry about that. I just said that. I'm gonna try and crash this thing to the wall. See if it's even possible. Let's go. Alright, going forward. My gosh, this thing's already at 70 miles an hour. Whew. My goodness! Oh! 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 Wow! This thing woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Let's go. Let's go time. I'm gonna try and go around the map. See what's going around here. No one's gonna care. No one's even around here. I'm not gonna care. Because I'll be dead. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Car has caved into into. Car has caved into itself. Uh. Goodness, it's like he. Car had dysentery, and that's its bowels after years of sickness. This car is. I, I knew it. This car is indeed dead. Right, let's go again. See if I can do better this time. Not crash and absolutely obliterate my car. Did you see how I grinded on the rail? I did a car grind. Did a, like, I think I did like two barrel rolls. I don't know. Let's see if we can off road this time. Off road. On trail. Off. I mean, it's not really off road, but whatever. Oh boy. Oh boy. Right. We're going. Gosh, this thing's very slidey on the dirt. Kind of a little bit ugly. Oh, that was very rattly. Where my steering wheel just rattled. Oh, out. Alright, we're on the road again. Let's go. Let's see how fast I can crash in We'll go off this mountain. I remember going here before. This was a terrible place. Help! 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 This is terrible. Another tragic death of this poor uh, car. Well, I guess we're going back here again. And we're going. I, I, I want to do something. I want to try to go uphill, but like try and jump like that. I remember going here too. I'm just trying to find a very unsafe place. Ah! To be kidding me! Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're feeling nice, maybe 
subscribe and hit that notification bell too. I'll be coming up with more automation car videos. And while you're at it, while you're thinking of what things I'm gonna upload sooner, um, have just have a great time in general. Well, thanks for watching this video. F out.